Blog Talk Radio. We welcome the night. Um, 
where a lady goes into the an old antique shop, buys a doll way bigger than it is. But again, that's that's buying a doll. I think clown doll. She brought a doll too. But again, there's just like all these ideas that have been done numerous times before. But again, it's a horror genre. Everything's been done before. Um, but this one, like, you think it would go like, okay, they're gonna buy the Nutcracker at the shop, and then. Like they buy the plum fairy instead, but oh, there's just a random six foot tall nutcracker at her. I don't even know if it was her mother or her aunt um, standing. Oh, it was in the attic. How the fuck did you get that down by yourself in the attic? Um, but I digress. It's just like the little quarters here that are just like, ugh. <laughs> just like non consistent things that go on through this movie where it's just like baffling. Like, this shouldn't be that difficult. I mean, yeah, it's a stupid inanimate object slasher movie, but there needed to be some kind of balance to making it make sense because they don't even try. They, they're just like, oh, it's there. You know, we're going back in just because, you know. Like, exactly. Why? Just because. What's the point of this? Just because, like, <laughs> Why is the Nutcracker killing people for some reason? No fucking reason. Just because. Um, so, yeah. Um, let me try to get into this. I just needed to vent a little because this movie is just... Ugh. Um, so, we have Clara. <laughs> yeah. We have Clara, and she is a writer, and she has finished up her book, or she's trying to, and she got word that her boyfriend, uh, Paul cheated on her with somebody and she needs to get away so she goes again i guess to her aunt's house or some some kind of relation to clara and she goes to this you know house middle of, it's not really out in the middle of nowhere and she stops by this antique shop and she talks to the guy there like oh you uh, i should have known it was you because again i forgot her name marie was her aunt or niece or something relation to her mom grandma i have no idea um and so she wants to buy her a special gift for you know christmas and she she wants this nutcracker and um the guy he hand makes the nutcrackers and everything else and like that it doesn't really fucking matter honestly like oh i hand make them and and then his subplot doesn't matter. i know oh, i'm going i'm going too far i'm going too far in um okay so she buys the nutcracker and she goes there and she wants to give it as a gift, and she opens the – Marie opens it up, and there, it's the Sugar Plum Fairy. And, uh, again, before we even meet Clara, there's a scene with a, a UPS – not UPS, but a parcel delivery, you know, postman. And he delivers a package at the house, and apparently it's at the same time Clara's there, so it's because it's two days earlier when they cut after the scene where the Nutcracker just walks through the house and kills him at the outside. I'm like, oh, it's – random six foot tall nutcracker okay um no one can see that moving through the house apparently um but anyway that happens first then we meet clara and then we meet all the other people that slowly you know she, her one of her friends shows up her his with her boyfriend then paul shows up and again people just show up for no fucking reason just for fo fodder for the nutcracker and there's there's nothing to this movie because he doesn't have a fucking idea of what to do with this film. They just, oh, let's, again, we say it a lot, just throw things at the screen and hopefully something sticks. And they did, didn't do even that. They didn't even do that. And because this film is the worst pacing. This, I mean, Jack vs. Lanterns was paced pretty horribly, but that was long as fuck um, and just, like, nonsense. This I mean, it's at least sort of a movie. I mean, we've discovered, you know, not, not discovered, but uh, discussed films like this before, you know, as mentioned, where it's just an inanimate object going through a house doing things. And, like, we've done that. I mean, hell, I think half of Louise's filmography was like that. But it's just like, this just felt, you know, just like, ugh. You know, it's just like they didn't even try to have fun with it or do anything interesting. I mean, yeah, there's a scene with a guy eating walnuts, and he's, like, having an orgasm eating walnuts. Um, I've never seen someone that intense, you know, eat, you know, crack open walnuts and like, oh, my God, it's like an orgasm in my mouth. I mean, it looked like he was doing that. And, of course, he got castrated after that. It's the best scene in the fucking movie, spoilers. Um, it looks like, and it even looked like he just got a pair of truck 
nuts and just pulled them off. Like, here's the hair <laughs> truck nuts. Um, yeah. The, so, yeah, it was um, terrible. The, the Nutcracker's just killing random people for some fucking reason. Um it doesn't. There's no. There's no rhyme or reason. It doesn't make sense. Once the, no, there's like they go back with uh, Clara and Paul, her boyfriend, who God, apparently that. cheated on her with the best friend or something. But I don't know. It doesn't fucking matter because it's superfluous to everything. Um, and so they go to the, the 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 shop owner, and he gives like this exposition dump that goes for like eight hours, even though it's like five minutes. Um, and it just goes on, and all oh, the the Nutcracker was there to protect the Sugar Plum Fairy, but the Mouse King needed this and that. Like, are we really doing an exposition exposition dump on the fucking Nutcracker suite? <laughs> you know, <laughs> just really. Yeah. Um. Really, we need to do this. Ah, uh, all right. So we're doing that. And again, even that doesn't make sense. Like, I don't understand the reason. Like, oh, he protected two sisters, and one of them died, and. It doesn't make sense, Ian. Nothing made fucking no. sense to the story and what no, was like, happening. They didn't even like. I thought at first I was like, okay, maybe the guy sneaking around was like, you know, at the, or the 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 package, the guy who delivered the package, who delivered it in the back. I was like, maybe he perceived that was a threat to the sugar plum fairy, but. Then he just started killing people who were innocent, and I was just like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "This is," I was like, "So that whole lore that we had to sit through was nothing. Like it was pointless. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, it doesn't. There is no point." I was like, "So there's literally, you think, okay, there, it's all to protect this person? Nope." And like. I and, like, he's been in the attic this whole time, like, a year previous. Like, again, it's like he's been in that house, and people live in that house. Now he's killing them for some reason. It's like, what is – like, the the old man, I forgot, like, Dan Danford or something, whatever his name was. But the old man that was the butler of the house, uh, apparently, because apparently they used the house as, like, a bed and breakfast, too. So, like, there's people that has been in and out of that place for years, and apparently, oh, it was in the attic. I brought it down. Now it's killing people. So, like, okay. I guess. I think it's because of the Sugar Plum Fairy. When it got introduced, that's when the light show happened. So I guess it didn't come alive until, like, they were close to each other again. I don't know. Like, yeah. Because it seems like they were hinting. Well, yeah, and it seemed like they were hinting that the toy key, like the toy guy, like did that on purpose because, like, randomly they had fucking jewels inside of them. And then, like, so, like, obviously the toy guy had to know, but he, they didn't explain that. I, I thought I was missing something, like a big chunk of something. And I was like, it's too late for me to go back all the way back and, like, try to find what happened if I missed something. Like, because I was bored out of my mind and I kept zoning out. <laughs> Just, yeah, I mean, he does that oh exposition God. dump where you're just it's it's honestly it's kind of grating where it's just like he's you know monologuing on and on like get to the point and like oh yeah he brings up like diamonds of one swallowed one the, the the nutcracker swallowed one and then he put the other one in the sugar plum or the other sister that survived died or something and then like okay okay and then it's just like okay yeah sure now he's Apparently, you know, he's a toy maker. Yeah, he brought that up, and he has a little place where he creates toys at the top of his thing. Like, that whole last act, just like, where is it? What is going on? Why is this happening? Who, what, now you found a crown and a safe behind something? Okay. <laughs> it's just like, and it's, like, and it's like, I thought, it was like, know, maybe the mother, or, you know, because, like, the mother and sister was, like, Clara's mother and sister. I mean, I don't know, like, if that was the case or something, but it's just, again, like, nothing made fucking sense, and it's just, like, droned on for just far too long, and again, it's just yeah. the pace terribly to even pay attention to it, we're just like, you know what, I'm done, I'm, I'm ta- you know, I'm tapping out even though I'm not, you know, it's just like, yeah. it, like, you can pay attention to this and get every little minute detail, but you're just left there like, it doesn't make fucking sense. You know, like, we're going through well, this thing, and I'm just trying to re- recall everything. Like, yeah, I can recall every fucking thing that happened, but it's just uninteresting. And, like, at least, like, with the clown exactly. doll, 
I mean, like, the, the, they tried to do the whole, like, from the grave, and the clown doll has, like, the, the corpse, not the corpse, like, the spirit of the serial killer or something that, or something like that. Like, all kinds of, or the, there's all kinds of stuff in clown doll that, you know, didn't make sense, but it, it kind of worked with its merits. Like, this one, it's just like, no, there's no reason for any of this. You're, you're in this just as, you know, this is, this is how we intended it. And, like, again, it's good on in their mind or on paper, but as, as, Going through there, the, there was something lost in translation because there is a it is yeah. a mess. Yeah, no, like, I mean, I kind of there was a couple of like the red hair, the hot redhead girl. Uh, her and her boyfriend randomly brought like a crown and like a tiara thing, and then I was like. That is going to be used in the last act of this movie. Like, I already knew it because, like, you know, since I was going by the Nutcracker, and I was like, so they're going to do, like, the Rat King and the Queen and blah, blah, blah. Like, that's stupid. (laughs) And then, like, how they executed it was worse than I thought it was going to be. (laughs) Well, we're going to pop up with a a fucking hammer and a, um, a gun that, and, like, that's supposed to do something to a possessed doll. Like, haven't they seen Chucky? Jesus Christ. Like, come on now. And I just, oh, my Lord. I mean, on, that, again, it wasn't as infuriating as Leprechaun's Curse. I mean, that one was just, a, no. a, a, oh, God. I mean, this one, again, it's like there's some ideas there, but they just didn't handle it properly. Leprechaun's Curse is a fucking tragedy. It's like an assault on your senses and everything else because you sat there for 90 minutes watching that and like, I want to die. I literally want to die after watching Leprechaun's Curse and even mentioning it Um, because there's just – there's that film is just wrong. All right? That's like – when you see something like that is wrong. That is is just wrong. That's that's Leprechaun's Curse. I I seriously thought like – because I, I was like, I I knew if this was a Louisa film, you would have said something. And I was like, this hits all of Louisa's fucking check marks. I was like, and I mean, I did find out that like the director of this film produced another film, uh, something about suicide, or something, and uh, yeah. Louisa was in the movie. So I'm guessing they're yeah. friends, but maybe they take notes with there's, each other. And it's like, hey, there's that shitty movies. Yeah, there's that Louisa pack. There's like Louisa. I mean, she has to be the new one. She's the freshman of the group. You have like Andrew Jones and the Louisa, and then like because um, yeah, I think Andrew Jones did all the Robert Duvall movies and all those other uh, lame serial killer films. And like, there's another one, but it was like he. This is like the new one. It's a conspiracy. Uh, in that group. Yeah. I mean, there's that other one. He did Dinosaur Hotel. He does all the dinosaur movies. And it's like that's the same, like, pack that they all roam around in tossing ideas and getting their films yeah, like, distributed by ITN and throwing it on Tubi. And like, oh, my God. Like, how they did can... It's just the crappy uh, <laughs> film society. <laughs> Yeah, the British, the British shit society. <laughs> yeah, I found out Louisa was in Harry Potter, so that's something. <laughs> I, I did a di- I did a deep dive. I got bored oh, the other day. That's something. Yeah, she was just like but, credited as like random girl or something. <laughs> it's whatever. I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, she. This movie just wasn't good. I mean, they they had no. an idea, like I said, the idea, if it executed properly, could have worked. It could have been okay. I mean, we've seen some shit, but, you know, like this, again, numerous times I'm going to say that over and over again. Like, we've seen shit like this done well enough that wasn't terrible, even though it wasn't good. But this one is just, like, it's boring. It, it doesn't make sense to anything that's happening. And, like, it, it, it it's one of those that just, like, doesn't follow its own rules where we've had that yeah. before and it's just like things just happen for just because reasonings and it's just like you're just sitting there like why is he after this like why like 
why? You know, just like the whole thing, just like that's the main thing. Why? I mean, there's there's really nothing else yeah. to question. That's the main thing. Why? And yeah. it doesn't it doesn't add up. You think okay, it's going to be you know Nutcracker coming to life. I mean, the Nutcracker itself wasn't too bad. I mean, yeah, it it it, it definitely looks like a you know cheap cheap mask and a guy in a suit, but it wasn't fucking Leprechaun Leprechaun's curse where it's just like I'm going to get my grandpa's coat and put it on. At least they had some work to it, you know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like. I like that they did try to do a twist with it. With like, I guess the Nutcracker was trying to make the ant the sugar plum fairy. I guess that's what was happening. I don't know, but like, and we were led to believe that Kara. How do you fucking say that horrible name? Uh, like, uh, she I swear was it's Clara. I swear it's Clara, Clara, but he said Clara, and he didn't yeah. pronounce it right. Because uh-huh. Apparently, in like his dialect, it's Clara instead of Clara. Yeah, I, I, you know how they. It seemed like they were leading us on to believe that she was the sugar plum fairy, but I guess because she gave her aunt the sugar plum fairy, it kind of, kind of makes sense, but no. But, like, I don't know. It just, the ending felt like, they're like, oh, shit, we need to end this. And uh, it's like, okay, well, let's just end it. <laughs> because and he just we need the Nutcracker it. university, and we need that sequel. Oh, my God. I swear to God. You know I what's mean, happening. Honestly. You know what's happening. I, yeah. Like, it did the same shit that Leprechaun did, where the smoke was coming out of their mouth. And it was just like... It's like, oh my god! And the sugar plum fairy looks like something you buy from Kroger, yeah. <laughs> specifically Kroger, because they have those weird things. <laughs> and that's just like, it's like we make I make this from hand, uh, from by hand, and we don't mass produce anything. I was like, then why are you holding a mass produced item? Shut the fuck up, dude! I was like, you could have, you guys could have at least tried a little harder. Because you can buy like handmade ones on Etsy, and like use that as or a Cracker prop. Barrel. But no, <laughs> go to Cracker Barrel. Uh, Cracker Barrel has some great shit. <laughs> yeah, it is dangerous to go in that place. Like, I can't take my wife in there. She'll come out with like two hundred dollars worth of stuff. But I digress on that. It, it, yeah, it's just like it's like they, there was so much potential. It's like. It's just, like you said, it's just a fucking six foot tall nutcracker. A guy in a nutcracker suit killing people. And how do you make it boring? Like, I got more entertainment out of that uh, that Hanukkah one with the puppet, or the little doll thing that was Holiday going around. Uh, yeah. Like I got more entertainment out of that than what I was. Uh, like, yeah, they just uh, wondered it with this. It's just like again, yeah, to start off the marathon. Like, ugh, God, here we go. You know, every day, every marathon we can. There was more talk. <laughs> they were talking more than we are. <laughs> yeah. Like it was just not nothing but like one kill and then like twenty minutes of talking. And then another kill, and, and then like the kills like they were fine, but they just like weren't anything like f- fun. Like again, like the Nutcracker with the the guy eating the walnuts and then getting his nuts ripped off. That was fun. again, that's the main scene in the fucking movie. That's the only standout thing. They're like okay, whatever. I mean, it, you could see it coming because they got the. But I was like, I expected more with the, you know crazy Nutcracker than someone being strangled to death with garland and having. And a, why was a, he hiding? I don't know. Well, exactly. Like, he's after all these people. He's hiding in the fucking cellar. And he's hiding. He pulled the, the girl in the closet after trying to... He literally her. opened the and front I... door, walked out, and killed the postman with a freaking icicle or a candy cane. 
And like, and then oh, all these bodies just disappeared. And now he's hiding. I did like that they that he wrapped the boyfriend up. I liked that. I was like, that's that's fun. <laughs> but other than that, I was like, I was like, this dude is literally this is not a that big of a house. How is he hiding? Like, you, you would see a six foot tall like thing. I mean, like when they were lo- in the beginning, I <laughs> I was hyper like fixated. On just like paying it, trying to make myself pay attention to it, to the point where I saw him like rocking back and forth when he was supposed to be still, and I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> I was like, couldn't they've gotten like just put this? Well, no, they had to get the guy with Parkinson's, you know. They had to get Parkinson's <laughs> guy. And it, yeah, I was just like, man, I was like, you could have put that costume on a mannequin. I was like, and mm-hmm. to get it to look still. Or something. It, but, it, like, it goes right like, back to clown doll, where like it's supposed to be this inanimate object, but you see it's like stomach going up and down, like yeah. fucking guy in the car. <laughs> you know, it's like it's, I mean, for these low budget ventures, yeah, that's pretty much normal. Like when it happens, it happens. It's, just, it's like when, uh, but yeah, they just wandered this, and it's just like it wasn't fun, and they're just boring, and like there's too much exposition for no reason, and a lot of like boyfriend like oh um, how dare he cheat on me tell me this and like it was just like that's the that's the story we're going the boyfriend cheated on the girlfriend you need to get away and that's going to be the the central point of the film for the remainder of uh everything going down like oh you cheated on me tell me who it was and he doesn't and then like oh okay and then they find the crown tiara and uh yeah because i don't know shit 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 on screen I mean, this is this is that fucking cherry oh, that's just like lathered, with like oh oh, this is that Sunday with that cherry on top, and it's lathered in that great you know Reese's uh, cookie topping you know chocolate sauce, and like that's not chocolate sauce. That's the, right. That's the cheap stuff that tastes like crap. You know, that's the great value brand. And like, ugh, you know, that bad aftertaste. I'm like, Mom, I told you, you know, to get like, the Reese's kind. <laughs> Sorry, that's all he had, son. You shouldn't have bought it. It was only a dollar. No shit. Thanks, Mom, for caring. Right. You're supposed to be... Man. You're supposed to love your kids. You're the best. And this is what you feed. I'm going off on a tangent. Ugh. There's nothing else to go on with this film. It's just it's not it's not yeah, really it's, worth its effort or time. It's not one to put in the Christmas rotation. I mean, luckily, again, people are going to watch it because they're in the festive mood. Yeah, but there's again, watch Holiday Hell. Watch that first segment. They do the Nutcracker better than that one, and it's even Jewish. So, and isn't that the one with the reindeer? Uh, no, the one with the reindeer, 13 Slate Blacksmiths. But there's, there's a handful. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God, we watch a lot of anthology. We we do, we do. Hell, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, man, we watch a lot of stuff, and we're harkening back to stuff from, like, years ago. So, again, we have a pretty good, you know, we know our shit. <laughs> not, not to toot our own horn or anything, but we we're able to pinpoint these little thoughts here from all these things and just like I mean we try to give the best possible review and I think again there's nothing to this film and this is, again if you just want something to put on in the background watch the nuts what? get castrated on on a uh, on a nutcracker or a, again I guess it's a nutcracker and it's like a crab cracker too you know they usually use on lobster calls um, so I mean it's eh. And this those nuts look bad. And he did that with his shorts on, too. Like, Jesus, your nuts hang that low? <laughs> That's another thing when he fell down. Like, Jesus, he must have some saggy balls. But right. they weren't saggy. They're just, again, they're just like perfectly shaped round balls. Like, Jesus. And it was a close-up, too. I mean, the last time I've seen balls that close-up was in uh, uh, Carver from uh, way back when, when that guy got uh, um, yeah, I this was like, I even thought I was like, 
is that a fucking pair of car nuts? Because I was like, one, <laughs> there, it's there's no way they would be that wrinkle free, especially yeah. on the ground. <laughs> Oh, no. I was like, <laughs> it definitely oh my god, like fucking truck nuts! I'm like, Jesus! Oh my god! So, yeah, there's nothing to this. I mean, there's, the deaths aren't that good. I mean, you all. see better castrations in the fucking out of everything <laughs> besides this. I mean, and the only really thing that really stood out. Many deaths. Yeah, I mean, it really wasn't. And, no, and they weren't even that good to begin with. You know, like no. Christmas tree garland choked around the neck. Like you can still breathe out your nose. I mean, there's nothing covering your oh, nose. We've seen and we've seen that done better too. Um, yeah. With that one Santa sorority movie. Yeah, I think it was the Santa. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, yeah, it was like not. There's nothing really happened. It was all talking. No, the entire it talking, movie, it just... Exposition, dumps that didn't really matter, just to elongate, I mean, like, all the lore of the Nutcracker. And like, it's the fucking Nutcracker. I it's like that. Better, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but... I kind of like the soldier aspect going crazy, but then, like... It just didn't they did really add up in that sense, because he's just going around killing people for no reason, and just, like... Yeah, makes sense. Exactly. Makes sense. I was, just, I was like, they were trying to do something, but they didn't even do anything with what they were saying. And like, oh my god, it's just wow. Yeah, it was it's just, again. It, it it wasn't the worst, but it's just one of those where it's just like what could have been, and it's just like uninteresting, and it's just like there. The, the anesthetic is there, and it could have been fun, but it's just boring, exposition dumps, the kill's not the greatest, and it's just like things it's going against its own rules, and it's just like, ugh. And it's just, it's just bo- again, it's just the main thing was boring. It was like 86 minutes, and it's just like, ah, uh, kill me. And it's just like nothing, like, there's like no story, no central story of anything. Like, oh, the Nutcracker's this. Like, no, like, Nutcracker's just killing people. Like, oh. There's a nutcracker killing people. Let's automatically go to the fucking guy that knows about it. And like, there's like no build up to getting the exposition dump like you do in a normal movie. It's just like, oh, we're going directly to that, you know? Like, oh, or b- my boyfriend's missing. Like, oh, and the nutcracker's gone. Like the six foot tall nutcracker. I'm like, yeah, okay. Woo. <laughs> like a lot of things are just like. Ugh. It just and different. they didn't you even. Know, just and like, how long had? That the boyfriend been wrapped up, like if they they could have looked at the tree and just said, "Hey, here's a human shaped fucking present wrapped up by this tree. I wonder what it could have been." Yeah, <laughs> I don't recall that being there when I walked in two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, hmm. And then I just like that they immediately was like. Huh, the boyfriend is missing and the nutcracker is missing. So that must mean the nutcracker's alive. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like you, you must be the smartest person in this movie so far. I mean, it was proved yeah. to be wrong, but huh, at least you got it right. <laughs> I was like, no, normally it takes a, wrong. a twitch or two, or it being in like, a different spot than what it was before. But no, he just returned yeah. right back to the same spot after he killed people until he disappeared. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know, Ian. I mean, we this is pretty – this is a rough start, but we still got, like, the choices we have coming up. I'm, I'm – Yeah. I mean, we got – we got a – we got a reindeer. We got a snowman. We got a tree. We got Krampus. We got elves. Um, we might have a Grinch. <laughs> I mean, Krampus movies make me weary. <laughs> I mean, oh boy, yeah. I mean, everything's not going to touch. After that Krampus, the Krampus marathon origins. that we did. 
That was uh, that was something. Oh, oh yeah, my God. <laughs> that's definitely yeah. something, Ian. We that's that's our game. It's something. It, we when bring it's a you serious something. marathon. It always turns bad, but when we do like a little random off the wall like little mini marathon, it turns out okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, at least we had Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> yeah. Now we're eating snow cone. Not uh, now we're <laughs> eating yellow flavored eating yellow snow. snow cone. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, Ian! It's, if this is going to be the start of everything, it's we're off to we're off to a grand. We're we're tripping over our own feet, and uh, I just hope that this isn't the best movie <laughs> in this marathon. Not like how the fucking Double Trouble Horror Show was the best of fucking the Halloween <laughs> for no fucking yeah. reason. It was for unintentional <laughs> reasons. It was the best. Um, yeah. We're off to a grand start, and I'm looking <laughs> enthusiastically looking forward to it. Quotations in the air. Um, yeah. <laughs> here we go, Ian. Let's let's strap in, buckle up, plow right into that brick wall, and see how we survive. And uh, we're in for something. So we're gonna slide on the road. We're gonna <laughs> go 80 miles an hour on freezing rain highway weather, and hopefully we don't hit the barricade and cause a fatal collision. But that's us. Fatal collisions abound, and we're gonna hit a lot of fucking things. <laughs> and, and we're gonna hit a tree. We're gonna hit a deer. We're gonna hit a pedestrian. It's gonna be awful. But uh, hopefully we can swerve. I mean, we already hit a nutcracker. So here we go. <laughs> And again, I don't mean that in disrespect to actually wanting to cause harm to people. It's just a figure, you know, figure of speech. And uh, again, that's how me and Ian are on the list. I mean, figuratively, we're on the list because, uh, yeah. So we're going to go <laughs> listen to some Kanye talk about how the Nazis were right, and uh, we're going to see how that turns out. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christmas 2022. We're in, for a, we're in for a lot. Of uh, a lot of heartbreak. <laughs> Hopefully something good. I hope twenty twenty three is into that. Oh yeah, um, we're rambling, but we're just we just need to vent, I guess, because we just had to sit through this. But it's not like shit. But you know, drained us of energy. I mean, it's like I said, it wasn't Jack versus Lantern that drained us of energy or anything like that. It was just like it was just eh, you know, it was just one of those like eh, mediocre. I mean, it wasn't anything great. I mean, it, was, it just didn't work. It didn't work out, and uh, maybe the sequel. Well, no, we can't say that. The sequel sucks. The sequel's gonna suck. I mean, Leprechaun's Curse. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the sequel's gonna suck ass. So I can't. Sorry, but when you make Nutcracker mutilation or whatever, Dual Tide massacre, it's it's gonna suck. So, and with that, <laughs> we better call it a night. Uh, as always, it's great yeah. talking with you. And uh, thanks, everyone, for listening, and we will see you on this continuation of our Christmas Horrors Marathon throughout the month of December. So thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time on Horror Not Oasis. Good night.